Hey guys, it's Lewis here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the Ledger Nano X hardware wallet. And specifically, I'm gonna be transferring my Energy Web token from an exchange over to the wallet and show you step by step by step. Not only that, but I'm gonna be installing my old password seed phrases from my previous Ledger Nano S so that this wallet, this new Ledger Nano X wallet, will get the same exact seed phrases as my previous one and all of the cryptocurrencies from my previous wallet will be transferred over to this new one. So if you've lost your previous hardware wallets and you need to buy a new hardware wallet and reinstall your seed phrases, then this is definitely the video to watch. Also, I'm gonna be going through everything step by step. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be sharing my screen and that should be really helpful for you so that you'll know exactly what to do and you could do it with me. So real quickly, before I get started on how to actually use the Ledger Nano X, I just wanna explain a little bit about what it is. Reading off the back, it says, Ledger Nano X, keep your crypto secure everywhere. Your private keys giving access to your crypto assets can easily be stolen online. Make sure to keep them safe and available anywhere you go with the Ledger Nano X, a state-of-the-art Bluetooth-enabled hardware wallet. With this device, you can manage up to 100 crypto assets at the same time, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many more. And you can secure your transactions anywhere you go using a smartphone or a computer. So this is the latest Ledger Hardware Nano X uh, Ledger wallet. And it is a good thing to have wallets. What I will say personally is that there are a few exchanges that I do trust, such as Gemini, such as Coinbase. However, there are a lot of exchanges that I don't necessarily trust too much to hold my private keys. And that's why I got this. It's because there are a couple coins that I have that are on some, let's just say not so robust exchanges or well-known exchanges like Coinbase and I wanna make sure they're secure. So to make sure that your coins are as secure as possible, you could get a hardware wallet such as this and transfer your coins onto this and that way you own your own private keys and the exchange doesn't own your private keys, AKA they don't own your crypto. Okay guys, so now I'm on my computer and I'm just gonna walk through the steps. Uh, firstly though, if you have this, you know, once you get the ledger, you'll have this piece of paper that says get started. And really it just says the Ledger Nano X certainly secures your private keys uh, to provide access to your crypto assets and to set up your device, follow the instructions at ledger.com slash start. So that is what this website is right here. It also says charge your device before the first use by connecting the USB cable to a power source. So basic actions refer to the drawings on the first page, which is right here. It's basically just says um, to turn it on, you click this button to get to left or right, you click this button or this button to click check marks, you press both of them at the same time and to get to the settings, you hold down both buttons at the same time. And these are the two buttons right there. So now we're on this website and uh, let's just see what it says. Getting started, just received your device, follow those four steps to get started. So step one out of four, get Ledger Live to start setting up your device. Ledger Live is our homemade software allowing you to set up your device and manage your crypto assets. So let's click the download button and I have a Mac. So I'll click Mac app waiting for this to download. Okay, it just downloaded, so I'll click it. It's just opening up the Ledger Live desktop. Then I just drag it into the applications folder and I'll double click it. It says ledgerlive.app is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you wanna open it? And I will click open. Yes, I do want to open it. It says, welcome to Ledger Live. Let's start by choosing how Ledger Live looks to you. You can change this again in your settings, dark, dusk, or light. So I like dark, so I will click get started. 
getting started with your ledger device, set up as a new device, restore device from recovery phrase, skip device setup, or don't have ledger devices. Well, this is actually um, a backup. So I want to restore my device from a recovery phrase. Normally you'll just set up as a new device and the the instructions are super clear and simple, but I'm gonna restore my device from recovery phrase. So I'm just gonna click this button. It says select your device and Ledger Nano X, and this is the USB only. So before I actually go any further, I'm going to connect this to my computer. So I just put the Thunderbolt cable in here and it says, welcome to the Ledger Nano X, press right button to continue. So let me do this. Download Ledger Live at ledger.com slash start, then press right. Well, I did just download it, so I'll click right. Press left or right button to browse through the menus and lists, okay. Press both buttons to validate a selection, all right. Hold both buttons anytime to access the control center and to power off and more, okay. Start Ledger Live to get assistance during startup, okay. It's asking for whether I want to um, set up as a new device or restore from recovery phrase. Um, and reminder, press both buttons to validate the selections. So you could either set up as a new device or restore from recovery phrase. I'm restoring from re recovery phrase. So let me uh, click it on here. And if this doesn't work, then I'll click it on the actual device. So Ledger Nano X. Okay, and I'll click continue. Choose pin, connect your Ledger Nano X to your computer. It's already connected. Press both buttons as instructed on your Ledger Nano X screen, okay? And then press both buttons to select restore from recovery phrase. All right, so I'm gonna press both buttons. Press the left or right button to select a digit. Press both buttons to validate. Um, so when I clicked the press both buttons for the restore, it says choose pin code of four to eight digits. You want to have, you know, be at long as long as possible. So let me just put these, uh, put this pin code in here. So I just double click it and then I'll enter my pin code. Then I have to confirm my pin code. And then it says enter your recovery phrase. And so for me, my recovery phrase is what was written down on my previous uh, Ledger Nano S. So I'm going to put that in here. It says select the number of words written on your recovery sheet. And I have 24, so I'll click 24. Enter word number one. And I'm going to select word number two, word number three, four. So I just put in all 24 of my recovery phrase words. It says it's processing, and now it says your device is ready. One other thing that it says here is to always choose your own pin. So make sure that it's your pin. No one, you know, said, gave you a pin or anything. Eight digits is the best more secure and never use a device with a pre-installed pin or recovery phrase. So if they say that they have a recovery phrase or a pin, don't, don't use it. You need to make your own up. And of course, if you're doing this as a new device, then you want to write down the, um, and of course, if you're doing this on your own and you're sending it up as a new device, uh, you have this recovery phrase sheet. So uh, Ledger will give you the recovery phrase and you'll just write down all of the different uh, phrases of the different words for the recovery phrase on the sheet. So now it says that the device is ready. So I will click next and it says access dashboard. So I'll click continue. Now it says enter your recovery phrase, enter the recovery phrase using your recovery sheet, select the length of your recovery phrase, uh, type the first word of your recovery phrase, tap the word when it appears, repeat the process for all the words. So this is what I just did. Um, I just had the recovery phrase uh, on my previous sheet. You know, they gave you these ones. Well, I got the same, I got the same sheet on my, uh, from my other one. So I just put all of the words from my other one into this one. And it was actually super easy. It took me literally less than five minutes. Uh, you type in a few letters and then the words sort of pop up and then you just choose the word. So it's not a long process at all. And of course, you need to know that anyone who has your recovery seed phrases, they have access to all of your crypto. That is what makes crypto secure is your seed phrases or your uh, your keys, you know? So you never wanna use a device with a pre-installed pin or a recovery phrase. You wanna store your recovery phrase in a safe place out of sight. So 
if you're setting up a new device and you have your recovery phrases on here, what you wanna do is make sure that you put this in a safe somewhere or someplace that's not gonna be lost. You really don't wanna lose it. And it comes with a few of these. So if you have a couple of these pieces of paper where you write down all of your recovery phrases on, um, you don't wanna have them all in the same location. You wanna split them up into a couple different locations uh, because having all of them in one location is sort of redundant. And also Ledger does not store your private keys and no one else in the world should know your recovery phrase. So never fall for anything ever saying, you know, that, oh, I just need your recovery phrase. There's no support ever will ever ask for your recovery phrase or your recovery seeds or words or anything like that. So never, never tell anyone what they are. So I'll click continue. And it says security checklist. Before getting started, please confirm, do you... Did you choose your own pin? Yes, I did. Did you save your own recovery phrase? Yes, I did. Is your ledger device genuine? Well, I'll check. Check now. Connect and unlock your device. Okay, genuine check. And maybe if I double click both buttons, allow ledger manual. Uh, so I'll click yes and it says, Okay, so I just had to, um, to to verify my Ledger device is genuine. I just had to double click the buttons on here and then go to where it said um, allow Ledger manager and then I double clicked it again and it now it says that my device is genuine. So I'll click continue. Password lock is optional. Set a password to secure your ledger live data on your computer, including account names, balances, transactions, and public addresses. So you can choose a password if you want. Keep your password safe, don't share it. Losing your password means resetting ledger live and adding the accounts again. Resetting ledger live does not affect your crypto assets. So this is an option. So I'll just put in a password here. And then on the next page, it says bugs and analytics. Share anonymized data to help Ledger improve its security of its products and services. So technical data, Ledger will automatically collect fully anonymized technical data to help improve user experiments. Uh, experience analytics, uh, enable analytics to help Ledger improve user experience. Bug reports, automatically send reports to help Ledger fix bugs. And now it says your device is ready. Install apps on your device and access the portfolio. So I'll click open Ledger Live. And then there's a terms of use that you have to agree to. So of course, let me just speed read through all of this. Oh, yep, yeah, got all of that done. Confirm. And now that we have this installed, let me just make it full screen. It says install apps on your device. Go to the manager to install apps on your device. You can add accounts once you have apps on your device. So in order to add accounts, you need to have the particular apps on the device itself. And you need to do that within the manager. So I'll click go to manager. And so it's likely that when you receive your ledger that your firmware will be outdated. So the first thing that you'll wanna do is to update your firmware. And you can see that there's a update firmware button right here. So I'll just click that. And it says firmware update. You're about to install firmware version 1.2.4 slash four. You'll probably have one that is, you know, 1.2.4 five or 1.2.7 whenever you get it. It also says ensure your 24 word recovery phrase is written down on the recovery phrase sheet and it is available as a precaution. So you gotta have your recovery phrase, which you should have already written down. And then it just tells you what's new in the firmware version. Uh, so it has security enhancements, better user experience, uh, no need to disconnect and reconnect the USB cable during firmware updates. Bootloader mode is now automatically launched to update the MCU firmware, significantly reduced the delay when uninstalling multiple apps in the manager. So yeah, it has a lot of good things to this firmware updates, um, changes to the regulatory information accessible through the settings or the boot menu, fixed functionality switch between library contacts. So it's just a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna click, I have my recovery phrase, which I do. I'm gonna click continue. And now it's downloading the update. Please wait for the update installer to be downloaded. And now sometimes what happens when you do updates on this, you need to actually confirm it on your ledger um, or you need to open up the ledger by putting in your pin code. And so I'm checking it right now while it says downloading the update and it says enter pin code. So I'm gonna enter my pin code and that might actually 
create uh, or allow the ledger manager on my computer to update the actual ledger down here. So now that I put my pin in here and I clicked OK, now you could see that it is downloading the update. Please wait for the update installer to download and it says processing on the ledger itself. It has the word processing on there and it says update firmware, verifying the identifier. Verify that the identifier on your device is the same as the identifier below. Confirm and enter your pin code if requested. So it gives you an identifier on the screen and you just have to make sure that it's the same one on your device. So you just right click to get to the identifier. And then once you identify that the numbers are the same on the screen and on your ledger, you just right click to perform the update and then double click it. And then you need to enter your pin again. Then once you enter your pin, it'll actually update the firmware. Then the firmware is updated and says, please reinstall the apps on your device. So close that, connect and unlock your device. It's asking me to put my pin in again. So now that my pin is in, you gotta wait a second and then it connects. Allow ledger manager. Yes, I want to allow ledger manager. So I will double click it on my actual ledger. And now that I allow ledger manager, it's gonna put it up on my screen here. Uh, firmware is up to date. So now you can see that the firmware is up to date on here. Uh, used versus capacity. And we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin. A lot of these coins are Ledger Live supported. So it's super, super easy to put these on to the, uh, the Ledger Nano X. And scrolling down, I actually see the coin that I want to put on here, which is Energy Web Chain, uh, which is really Energy Web Token. So I need to make sure that Energy Web Chain and Energy Web Token is uh, you know the same thing. But I'm just gonna install this. Ethereum app is required. The Ethereum app will also be installed because the Energy Web Chain app needs it. That's fine. So I'll install both the Ethereum and the Energy Web apps onto my Ledger device or onto the Ledger Manager. Click Install Apps. And you can see up here, it's installing Ethereum. Scroll back down here and install this. App installed successfully. You can now add your Ethereum accounts. And they also now show up on here. You can't really see it, but it says Ethereum, or you could right click Energy Web Chain, right click Install New Apps or Install App, and then go to Control Center. So noted that all of the Ledger Live supported applications or cryptocurrencies, once you install it, all you need to do is add account. So if I wanted to put my Ethereum onto this Ledger, I could simply add an Ethereum account and I'll just go through that right now. So I'll just click Ethereum and I'll click continue. Open the Ethereum app on your device. So the my device says open app Ethereum. So I'll just double click this, sure. Application is ready on my device. Um, on the computer, it's still loading and it's synchronizing. And now that it's synchronized, it shows my accounts that I had before, or it could show me my new accounts. If you're setting up a new, totally new device, you won't have your old existing accounts. Um, but because this was a recovered, uh, you know, Ledger Nano hardware wallet, I have my old accounts on here. So I'm going to actually just add my accounts on here. And this has zero ETH. So, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do Ethereum one because uh, that other one has zero ETH and this has 0.11 ETH on it from a long time ago. So I'll just add account. And once again, if you're not adding a previous account, you could just you know add a new account. And now it says account added successfully, add other accounts or return to portfolio. So if I click add more, it'll just come up with Ethereum again. And now you can see that it has accounts already in my portfolio. 
and that's my old account, right? My Ethereum one. And obviously I could add a new account or I could um, add existing accounts. So if you have multiple people on a single ledger, it seems as if you could just, you know, add multiple accounts, add multiple accounts, and then, you know, put however much money or crypto you want into one account, one person's account versus another person's account, stuff like that if you want. So I don't need to do any of this because I have my account already. So I'm just gonna exit out of this. And now you can see my total balance is $42.86. My asset allocation is right now, Ethereum is the only thing that I have downloaded on here. So I have Ethereum, it gives you the price, gives you how much allocation is set towards Ethereum, gives you the amount, the value, all that stuff. And the last operations or the latest operations right here was back December 18th, 2018. And this is when I sent and received, or I initially received, and then I sent my Ethereum to my hard drive and then away from my hard drive. So you could click on that and you could see the date that you received it, uh, how much, all this good stuff. You could also view it in the Explorer and if you really wanna go in depth, but you don't really have to do that. And you also see the same things for the cents Ethereum. So confirmations, uh, the date, all that stuff. So now that we have my Ethereum on here, now we could get the other cryptocurrencies into this account or into this ledger hardware wallet. And if you go back to ledger.com slash start, you can see that in step four, it says add an account to manage your crypto. We just added an Ethereum account to manage our Ethereum, but it says to manage crypto that are directly supported in Ledger Live, you just have to add an account. That's what we just did for Ethereum. It was super easy. To manage other assets, you need to use an external wallet. And so we're gonna have to click more because we don't have an actual wallet for um, the particular cryptocurrency energy web token that I'm gonna be putting on here. It's not native to Ledger Live. It's not directly supported on Ledger Live. So we're gonna have to learn more. Ledger compatible services. You can manage your assets directly from Ledger Live for 27 supported coins and ERC20 tokens. So for others, you need to use external wallets to be able to check your balance, send and receive. Find a list of compatible third services below, third party services below. And if we go back here and we go back to the apps installed, you can see that we have Ener you have Ethereum and my energy web chain. And of course it doesn't have an account available or add account available for energy web chain because it's not a native or supported token on the Ledger Nano X. So we have to click learn more and that'll bring us to this page, which then can actually go or we can just search energy web chain or energy web token, EWT, click that. And it says, install the energy web chain app on your ledger device to manage energy web token with the energy web wallet. So the energy web wallet is the wallet that we wanna use. The energy web chain app is developed and supported by the energy web community. Before you start, set up ledger live with your device, check, we just did that. Update the firmware on your ledger device, check, we just did that. Install the energy web chain app. So you go to the manager in Ledger Live, which we did down here is the manager, and this is the catalog. Then it says connect to unlock the Ledger device. So I connected this device, I put in my pin, and it allowed me to see all of this. And then it says, if asked, allow the manager on your device. So it said, allow the manager. I double clicked it and, or to double pressed it and it said yes. Um, find energy web chain on the app catalog. We found it, it was down down here, at energy web chain, and it says, click the install button on the app and your device will display processing and the app will be installed. So we clicked installed, it said processing and now it's installed. As you could see, you know, apps installed. And now it says, check the energy web guide for usage instructions or and to reach out to tech support at energyweb.org for technical support. So what's the energy web user guide? So how to use with Ledger hardware wallets. This type of hardware wallet requires specific apps to be installed on the Ledger Nano S or Ledger Nano X in order to interact with each other. We installed it already. So it says install the energy web chain 
um, app on the device, we did that. Open the manager, we did that. Connect and unlock your device, we did that. If asked, authorize the manager on your device, we did that. Find energy web chain, and we did that. So everything's good to go there. And then it says, enable the developer mode for Volta app installation. The only thing that's in here is energy web chain. There's no, there's no Volta in here. And we'll just double check real quickly. And so, yeah, there's no Volta. There's only energy web chain. So disregard if you're doing energy web chain, the whole Volta thing, it's just energy web chain. That is the app that's on the ledger store. So it says enable, so it says enable developer mode for Volta app installation. We don't need to do that. So it says click install button on the app and installation window appears. Your device will develop processing. App installation status will be confirmed as per below and installed app will be listed on ledger. Ensure you are connected to the network uh, EWC slash Volta in energy web wallet page. Select Ledger Hardware Wallet Type within Energy Web Wallet Web Application. Open the respective application on the Ledger device, which is Energy Web Chain. Click on Connect to Ledger button. So it says to ensure that you are connected to the correct network, uh, such as EWC um, or Volta in the Energy Web Wallet application or uh, wallet page. Now to get here, okay, you have to install the Energy Web Wallet. And to do that, got to scroll up to the top of this page and click wallet.energyweb.org. So, so when you do that, this page comes up. It says, welcome to the Energy Web wallet. Please read the next few screens for your own safety. Your funds can be stolen if you don't pay attention to these warnings. Next, and there's Energy Web with banks. They control your account. They own your info. They add fees. They tell you what you can do. With My Crypto, you control your account. You own your info, no fees are added, and you do whatever you want. Please understand that we can't access your funds for you, recover, reset, or modify any of your information, reverse, cancel, or refund transactions, freeze accounts, and that you are responsible for keeping your information safe. This includes your private keys and mnemonic phrases, hardware wallet pins, etc., etc. It also means that you need to make sure that you're not on a phishing site and you can reduce risk by using the my crypto downloadable app so when i clicked on the button for the energy web wallet they are using my crypto as their base for their wallet but you can connect it to your ledger don't worry about it so it just brings you to this page you click next you're ready to get started pro tip in order for your funds to be the most secure we we recommend getting a hardware wallet to use with my crypto here are a few options get a ledger or get a treasure so like i said before even though they have it set up with my crypto you can connect this wallet to your ledger wallet and then everything will be on your ledger so let's just get started and it says how would you like to access your wallet and you want to click ledger so connect and sign via your hardware wallet so i'll click that and it says unlock your ledger make sure your ledger is unlocked you've selected the ewt app on the device and your browser support is enabled so what i have to do is to put in my pin code and it's getting to the point where like i'm putting in my pin code so much that putting in a eight digit pin code is starting to get a little bit annoying so maybe you want to put in a four digit pin code if uh it's not too bad. So I just put in my pin code and I will double click the energy web chain. And now I'm in the energy web chain app on my actual ledger hardware wallet. And I'll say connect to the wallet, connect nano X. It wants to connect. So I'll click connect. So I want to have the energy web token. So I will just click any of these addresses and then I'll click unlock. And then what you want to do is you want to confirm that this address is the same address that's going to be on your ledger. So you want to click display address on ledger. And then you can confirm your address on your ledger and it says verify the address and that pops up on here. And then you just approve it on your actual device and says application is ready. And now this is going to be the address that you put into the exchange that you want to get your energy web token or your token or anything from. So you'll just copy the address and then you'll go to your exchange, you'll click withdraw and you'll withdraw the energy web token or whatever token that you have respectively if you're following along with a different token, you'll copy this address um, for the respective 
token into the respective tokens uh, withdrawal box on the exchange and then you'll withdraw it to this address and then it will be on your actual ledger nano x of course i'm doing this for energy web token so you have to do it for the exact token or cryptocurrency that you are using obviously this is the energy web token address i would never send something else to this address i would you know send bitcoin to bitcoin ethereum to ethereum xrp to xrp uh energy web token to energy web token uh you know it has to be the exact coin or else you'll lose all of your all of your coins and you should always do a test run at first uh with a very small amount just to make sure that it works so i'm going to log into my account where i have my energy web tokens and then I'm going to transfer them to this account. Okay, so now that I transferred my energy web token from the exchange over to here, um, this should come up in my account balance. Uh, but if not, I could just click this transaction history button right here. And I sent four energy web tokens. So you can see my balance is four energy web for energy web tokens, EWT, uh, $25.56. Uh, I don't know why it says zero tokens, but I have four EWT and that's my balance. That is my address details and blocks validated. It says that the transaction was a success. So that means that now the uh, energy of tokens that I have, they are on the energy web wallet, which is through my crypto, which is the through the my crypto wallet. And in order to access the my crypto wallet um, per, and to get to this specific account, I need to have this exact um, ledger nano X or I need to have a ledger with my particular seed phrases on it um, and then connect it to the my crypto wallet. And that's how I will be able to access my energy web token. Okay, so it says that I have my zero EWT right here, but when I do click on the energy web uh, block explorer, it does have my transaction in here and it does say for EWT. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out withdrawing this um, EWT and putting it back on the exchange because eventually, you know, that's what you'll want to do to be able to sell. So let me go test that out right now. Okay, guys, so for a second there, I was a little worried because it said that there was zero EWT in my account, even though the transactions went through. Um, so I simply just exited out of everything and then, uh, you know, plugged everything back in and put it all in. And now it says that I have four energy web token. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my energy web token from here back to my exchange. And after I do that, um, I'll let you know how that goes. Just a heads up in order to be able to do that. You need to go into the energy web application in your actual thing and then go to contract data in here and it says allow contract data in transactions right now it says not allowed so you need to double click that and you need to make sure it says allowed once it's allowed you'll be good to go and so you can simply click back application is ready and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to input my uh, address from the exchange for that has the energy web token on it to into here i'm going to put the amount of energy web token that i want to send um, i could send my entire balance uh, but the thing is that you need to have some uh, some token for the fee for to transfer it back and forth you only need a little bit so you can't send your entire balance that's uh important if you try to send your entire balance you're not going to be able to because you need to have some in order to pay for the gas so instead of four I'll do 3.8 um, and I'll have my transaction fee be super cheap. So let me just uh, put my address in here. And now that I have it in here, um, I'm gonna send 3.8 energy web token out of my four. I'll click uh, send the transaction, see if that works. Um, okay, so apparently that doesn't work. So, oh, so I can't actually, choose cheap as my 
transaction fee. I need to bring it up a little bit. So I'll have my transaction fee at 0.0002 Energy Web Token, or if I bring it up to fast, it goes 0 0.00021, 0.000. Okay, so basically under one cent, um, it costs under one cent to send it. So it actually doesn't matter. I just wanna get this done really quickly. So I'll just you know do somewhere close to fast and uh, I will click send transaction. Confirming transaction on hardware wallet. Uh, so you need to review your transaction on here. Amount, um, energy web chain, 3.8, correct. To the address, uh, yes, that's the correct address. And then all you gotta do, uh, max fees, 0 0.00000189, um, energy web token, accept and send. So I will accept it and send it from here. Confirm transaction from this to this. You'll send 3.8 energy web tokens around $24. Transaction fee is under a cent. Uh, the total is $24.57. So it's basically you're sending the whole thing. So click send. Uh, your transaction has been broadcast to the network and it's waiting to be mined and confirmed. Uh, so that's about it. Verify Energy Web. You can verify uh, this through the Energy Web Explorer. And so now this is the transaction, um, 3.8 Energy Web token. And once this is confirmed through the Energy Web chain, then it should end up back in my account on my exchange or on the exchange. So I will let you know uh, when or, or if that happens. Okay guys, so that took a little while longer, about 20, 15 to 30 minutes, somewhere around there. Um, but as you can see right here, the transaction has gone out, 3.8 EWT, so worked fine. Um, so I got four EWT in, I got 3.8, uh, excuse me, um, energy web token in, and then 3.8 energy web token out. And with that, you can actually see if I refresh this. Um, now it's down to 0 0.2 energy web token in my account. Um, so now that I know that everything um, could go in and go out really, really good, and it, well, not really, really good, but like it works and it was pretty easy. Now I could take most of my energy web token off of the exchange and throw it in here and it should be very secure and I won't have to worry about any type of hack or anything like that. So guys, that was the video on the Ledger Nano X and how to transfer the energy web token to your Ledger Nano X. Hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, I will hopefully be um, transferring Quant over to the Ledger Nano X. And if you found this helpful, then definitely be sure to like you know, this video. It really, really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you want more trading content and other nidbits of information such as this. And if you wanna get your own Ledger Nano hardware wallet, click the link below in the description and you will get it. Be sure to always buy directly from the manufacturer. I honestly wouldn't even wanna buy off of Amazon. I wouldn't trust eBay, definitely not eBay. And obviously Craigslist and stuff like that, either you can't really trust uh, those things. Just get it from the direct, from the manufacturer. Link in the description below for that. And yeah, other than that, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.